It was a big task, but at the same time, injuries happen in basketball, and sometimes you just got to play through those things. Um, I thought Coach Woodson put out a great game plan for us. I thought we executed it well throughout the game, and then at the end of the game, we got a little sloppy, um, picked up fouls and stuff of that nature, but we just got to be better in the last four minutes of the game because we can't have things transpire like they did last year where we start losing once close over and over and over again. Trev? Oh. Um, you guys were up 21 in the first half. What do you think changed the most from that point uh, kind of forward to the end of the game? I just think that um, we need to keep our foot on the gas pedal. I think we need to just keep playing fast. I thought when they were running their 2-2-1 uh, press, we kind of slowed it down. We were kind of just bringing it up the ball slowly. Then they were getting time off the clock, and then we were getting rushed into shots. So I thought that was a big thing in the second half and the, the end of the first half that brought them back into the game. And then obviously they're still a really, really good team, and they hit shots. So. Um, credit to them, they made shots when it mattered. Keegan. Trace, you looked like you were in a lot of pain coming off the floor after the first half. What did you do in the locker room to kind of get back in better shape and then have a great second half? Um, I really just, just played through the pain, honestly. Um, Timmy G put a little patch on my back to kind of icy hot, um, just to kind of stabilize it, try to stabilize it. But um, just really just got to play through it, especially when my team needs me. Tom. Trace, in a game like that, uh, tight second half, coach was saying, didn't really want to come out. You know, no. just, uh, how much did that matter to you, just wanting to have a part of every possession? Um, I mean, like, I, I get it. He's trying to find the um, substitution methods, but at the same time, um, especially when they're on a run and then we call a timeout, I just felt like it wasn't the right time. So I just basically told him, you got to ride me until the end of the game unless we get a timeout or a media timeout, and then I'll rest them. But at the same time, I felt like my teammates needed me in that moment and needed me in the game. So. How you move forward from a game like this with everything that happened? Um, great thing about Big Ten basketball is that you got another one coming up real soon. So we got Northwestern coming into Assembly Hall, and we're going to have to uh, prepare for them because they're a really, really good team and they're really hot right now. Last question, Tom. Trace, I know you and Rice have been great friends for a long, long time. You see that happen. To, how hard was it to kind of see that and, and, and with your friend there? Yeah, um, obviously, X and Rice were both my guys. And, uh, just to see that um, disappoints me. It disappoints me a lot, and uh, I pray for the best. I hope that he's okay. But like, yeah, it's horrible. I'm not gonna lie to you. Thanks, Tristan. Yep.